Hello guys, my name is Tu. So for this video, I'll be demonstrating on how do we use model compare to compare parts of different version. So what I have here is the NX software and I'll quickly open some parts. So first of all, opening part number one, this is version, assuming that this will be the first version. Then let's open part number two, which is, uh, so then we we'll, uh, version number two, then we just put side by side by dragging the part two to the right side. So at the quick glance, we can see that there are some very major differences. For example, there is additional feature at part two. Uh, and uh, there is some, yeah, some very obvious difference at part two. So the question is, how can we do a model compare between the two versions? So we can use the model compare function which is located at the analysis tab under more and find model compare. However, we will need to use assembly structure to do the comparison. So for that reason, let's quickly create a new file, new assembly file, and I'll quickly just name it as a compare. Okay. And for this assembly file, I will input both versions as the component into the part file. So I'll just uh, quickly put it at the absolute location and just uh, scatter it like this. Okay. Now I'll just close the individual CAD data and only left with the assembly structure uh, compare, which has uh, version one and version two of the same part file. So let's go ahead and click um, uh, click into the analysis tab and go more and find model compare. So the first the first click will be part number one. For example, I'll, I'll be choosing this as part number one and I'll be choosing this as part number two. And therefore the comparison will show. Uh, so this will be part number one, part number two at the top right corner. And at the bottom is the overlap for part one and part two. So if we quickly click apply button, we can see that there are several colors popping up at uh, each of the window. So let's say, let's look at this, uh, what, is the, what are, are the color means? So if you see the colors as uh, deep aqua, so this will be the color applied to part number two. If we uh, uncheck it, then the color will be uh, hidden. So we can also do it for part number one. If you check it, then we have the color for um, part number one. So this color, deep aqua, is identical. So that means this is this um, this face, this data, is identical between part one and part two. So if we quickly um, do uh, rotate and see at the back. So if you see the color is deep aqua, that means these are identical information between the two versions. So if the colors are different, so we can try to click on this change color. So this change color represents the data that is different between the two versions. So for part one, the color is called strong peach. And for part number two, the color is called pale olive. So let's try to toggle around the colors. So for example, if I just uh, if I just want to highlight the colors here, I can just go back to the identical colors and uncheck all the color settings. So what left on the screen is just um, I uh, it's just change and also unique. So for example, I'm just focusing on the change now. So if I uncheck this color. That means on the part one, I don't see the change surface. So if I check here, that means this surface is different, um, is, is changed between the versions. So let's quickly look at this side as well. You can see that there is a tiny changes at this surface as well. So that means this color indicates this uh, version has changed to this surfaces. And for just a different color for part number two, just a different color for uh, using power or leaf to represent the color uh, of the change surface at part number two. And for the overlap 
um, window, we can just quickly have a look at the comparison between the colors uh, of the change surface. And let's, last but not least, so let's turn off everything for, for the change color and go to the unique colors. So if you see the unique colors as medium gray, that means this color, this surface are unique for that particular um, version. So for example, in version part two, we can have this um, uh, medium gray uh, colored surface, which is not available in the first part. So for the first part, you can see that there is some surface, for example, this surface, which is unique, uniquely available only at part number one, but not part number two. So yeah. And also, um, we can, if you think that this is, because the part one and part two, the windows are not synced together, they are, they are not moving together. So probably we would like to use this uh, overlap window to emphasize our um, difference. So let's, let's highlight this overlap window by going to this more options. And for part one window, I would, do not, I, uh, I would like to temporarily uh, not showing it. And for part two, this is part two here. I uh, also temporarily, temporarily uncheck visible, visible so that the current view is overlapped. So this is the overlap view and I can quickly compare um, this uh, the unique color. For example, if I change the color for part two to let's say um, this medium ice color. So this, col this color represents the surface that is available uh, uniquely in part number two and this surface is uh, uniquely available in part number one this radius surface so I can also uh, show back the change phases as um, for, for between the versions so for example if I look closely into this um, um, tiny regions um, you can see that uh, Part number two, uh, there is the tiny, there is, uh, this will be the surface at part number two. And for part number one, it's actually, there have a tiny surf, tiny um, radius for, uh, at this corner here. But for part number two, the radius is not there. Therefore, um, this uh, this uh, radius surface is uniquely available in part number one. Okay, so so for this, I would like to conclude this video. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much.